68 acres and the Fish Creek basically cuts the property in half. About 30, 35 acres are on the north side of the Fish Creek and about the same amount on the south side. It's got a 10,000 square foot house that's all developed with a 14,000 square foot riding arena and a round pen and a 20,000 square foot outdoor riding arena. It also has a, a Quonset building. It's heated uh, with a, a boiler heated system and well lit. The main floor has a, a large open area kitchen, dining room and living room. In the kitchen there's a pizza oven and also a, uh, two other stoves. One's an English aga oven which uh, cooks by temperature and not by time. And then there's a whole master bedroom wing which has a large walk-in closet a sitting area with a fireplace and uh, the master bedroom area and then a large um, bathroom. And then on, in the lower part of the house, there's uh, another 4,500 square feet of developed space. A little favorite of mine, a golf simulator, which is, uh, which is great in the winter times. A six car garage, uh, including a wash bay. It's a large house, but it doesn't feel large. It feels very homey. I love the post and beam construction. I always have, it really fits the country very nice. Basically, you can get from our place to downtown in non-rush hour traffic in about 40 minutes, and in rush hour it's between 50 and 55 minutes. Coming into the property on the left-hand side, about 300 yards down the drive, is the first house you'll see, and it's the guest house, and it's on its own separate 22-acre title. Lots of animals of every shape and nature, and lots of birds, and we've got deer and moose, and we have even an elk herd. Uh, summer's beautiful out here. All seasons are, are beautiful. I don't ride horses, but my wife had three, and boarded a friends as well, and they were always out every day, either trailing their horses out or just riding the neighbor's property, who are very um, amenable to allowing that. I like the peacefulness of it. I like the privacy of it. It's just the, the beautiful nature of the land. It's like living in your own provincial park.